What's going on, guys? I am Jada Black. Salute to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about Ben Zobris. This topic of him and his wife, not this particular story I'm speaking on today, but Ben Zobris and his wife, he's a Major League Baseball player, pitcher, has been going on for over a month. When he found out that she had been screwing the family pastor, this guy. And not only has the family pastor been screwing his wife, but he actually stepped away from playing baseball due to his advice to fix his marriage, even though the pastor was going behind his back, screwing his wife. They had a messy divorce, and now she is demanding more money from him. Well, she's demanding $4 million exactly from him, even though she was the one who did all of the extramarital BS. Now, I want y'all to understand about these, these modern women, man. No matter how much success you have, it's never really going to be enough. And also, his wife, Juliana, I went to her Instagram page, and she, she to me, I think he got, I think he got fooled by her Christianity. When I went on her page, I saw nothing but liberal, Caucasian, feminist. That's what I saw. Because it's up and down. You can tell it's a lot of women empowerment. You know, she says that she's a Christian, but in a post, she talked about how she longed for a Christianity that's all about equality. I thought being a Christian did mean equal, equality. Uh, isn't that what uh, the word teaches us to love each other, but apparently whatever she's seeking isn't in religious manner. Um, women like her hide behind religion. There's a lot of women like this. There's a lot of women out here. A lot of these Western women, they hide behind religion. They are not as religious as they want you to believe. Now let's get into this article here from Larry Brown sports. Says Ben Zorbers took a leave of absence from the Chicago Cubs roughly two years ago as he was going through a divorce with his wife, Juliana. That split is still playing out, and to say it has gotten ugly would be an understatement. According to court documents obtained by Phil Thomas of the Chicago Tribune, Juliana says her estranged husband was guilty of failing to preserve marital assets when he took his leave of ab absence and forfeited nearly $8 million dollars she is seeking an even split of the couple's marital assets plus an additional four million, which is the amount she says she would have been entitled to if Ben didn't take the time off from playing. But that time he took off was due to your side dude, your side dude, the pastor. And listen, anybody that knows the church, especially like in the black community, we all know that these these pastors, not all of them, but there are those that are very corrupt. Uh, you should never go to them to seek any type of advice. It looks to me that Ben Zobris got the wrong advice from the wrong people. And he ended up sitting out a year because he wanted to fix his marriage with this woman. He wanted to fix his marriage. That's why he took that year off. And it seems to me that she did not want him to take that year off because she wanted his money. I believe she was going to leave him anyway. I believe she was going to leave him anyway. Let's see. Uh, ben Zobris called the claim utterly absurd and said through his legal team that his and Juliana's marriage fell apart after Juliana had an affair with the couple's former marriage counselor and pastor Byron Yon. See, this is why you don't under any circumstances go to a pastor to fix your marriage, because what's going to happen is that pastor is going to gain your trust and he's going to gain the trust of your wife. And that's exactly what happened to Ben Zobris. The pastor gained access to him and his wife. And he was able to give them marriage advice when he really shouldn't have been giving them marriage advice. And unbeknownst to Ben, he gave this guy more control over him in his marriage. And his wife saw that. That's why his wife slept with him. Ben is suing Yon for $6 million in a separate case for intentional infliction of emotional distress and defrauding the Zobris charity. Yeah, the pastor was stealing from him. Not only was the pastor... This, this this guy right here, not, not only was he screwing this dude's wife, but he was also stealing from Ben Zobra's charity. That's the type of good guy that is. Juliana admitted in her deposition that 
She confessed her love for Pastor Yon in late 2018. She threw a retirement party for Yon that year at the Zobers Farm and paid nearly thirty thousand for it. Ooh. <laughs> Not only was she screwing the pastor, she threw him a $30,000 party. She threw him a $30,000 $30, party. Not only would I have divorced this woman, I would have kicked this woman out of my house immediately. Okay? Because it looks like she only cares about any she only she only cares about herself. She, only cares, she hides behind religion. She is not religious. These new religious people, there's nothing about them that is religious at all be careful who you invite into your business ben claimed juliana paid for the event by intentionally using an account that ben typically did not keep track of so she had hidden accounts you know it don't tell her how much money she spent on this guy anyway ben said juliana admitted to having an emotional affair with yawn in the spring of 2019 ben was informed of the affair by yawn's ex-wife and decided and made that he simply could not play baseball while his marriage and family were in limbo so she's talking about an emotional affair but yawn's ex-wife who divorced him she's saying that they were you know sleeping together and this guy because again he's a baseball player and i have said this about athletes man these athletes are gone half of the year and when the baseball schedule is crazy because the baseball the scheduling for baseball starts in spring training which is right around march they do spring training in march and the season starts in april and depending on how deep they go into the playoffs they could be playing well into october so from march to october a lot of those guys are on the road they play over 100 and some odd games i mean they're, they have home games too so they do come back home but they're focused on the season and when these women marry these athletes they're used to a certain schedule so they will make their own plans so she made plans to make a separate account that she can trick money off on because trust me a lot of these athletes wives trick money off there's some of the biggest tricks people talk about men tricking off money nobody tricks off money more than the wife's athlete than the, than the athlete's wife The Zobris initially tried to work through their issues with counseling in 2019, but Ben said Juliana kept in contact with Jan even after promising not to. Ben said Juliana coaxed him into returning to the Cubs in late 2019 season because she wanted half of the money he earned by playing because she was going to divorce you. She was going to divorce him. That's why she wanted him to play. She was looking at an exit strategy. So she wanted him to make as much money as possible so she could get paid through the divorce. It appears that one of the wives main motives in concealing her affair with the pastor while participating in marriage counseling was to coax husband back into playing baseball so he could further enrich the marital estate in which wife is expected to receive a significant sums of money once the court uh, divides the estate. Benzobris memorandum claims one would be hard pressed to concoct a more deceitful sinister and otherwise inappropriate scheme than wife has devised in this divorce matter juliana eventually admitted to having a physical affair with yawn in june of 2020 the two are still together so he's so the pastor done wifed up <laughs> yo this pastor smart man he, He's giving her all types of advice on how to get more money out of him. You know, make him go back to play baseball so you can get more money. And then when y'all break up, you can get this amount of money. And as of June of 2020, they are still together. So that's what we, the guy, the pastor left his wife for so he can be with her. That's what we have going on here, man. And I want y'all to understand, man, you, you cannot under any circumstances invite people, especially pastors, into your marriage because these guys are not all, but a lot of these guys are not really religious. A lot of these guys got into pastoring to make money and to get groupies. A lot of these guys become pastors, to get groupies, man. Um, these pastors know the, the type of influence that they can have on these women 
And that's why, and that's what this guy did. That's what this guy did. You go to her Instagram page. She looks like she's been single for years. And not to say I agree with people putting all that, putting their kids on social media, but she barely posts her kids. It's all about her because most women who are wives and homemakers, right? You see them out and about their kids a lot of times, but mostly it's about her. Now we know who's snapping the pictures out the June 2020. <laughs> and she has the nerve to be doing Instagram lives talking about religion, talking about spirit. You know, it's talking about being a Christian. There's nothing Christian about this woman and this man right here on the right. He's a he, the guy is a scammer. The guy is a thief. The guy stole from this guy. He stole not only stole money from Ben Zobris, he stole his wife. But what, what, what I, let me change that. He didn't steal the man's wife. The wife left Ben Zobris for this guy right here. So he didn't steal the wife. She she willingly left to be with him because that's the amount of influence that Ben Zobris allowed in his marriage. Never allow another man to have that much control over your family. And pastors are known to be able to be marriage counselors and end up having relations with the wives. This is a story that has been told a million times. All right, let's get back to this particular article. Ben and Juliana have two children together. Juliana wants primary custody while Ben is seeking 50 50 split. Um, I don't think she should get full custody. I think this woman is very deceitful. I think that she is, um, I think that she's one of these, she's a gold digger. She basically is a gold digging female that really didn't love Ben like that. You don't do what she did and claim to love this guy. She loves herself and she got with this pastor because he sold her a dream, right? And they're still together. I don't know if he's going to marry her, but he's milking her. Because again, she was tricking money off him. She threw the dude a $30,000 party. How you throw a $30,000 party for your pastor, your counselor, right? You do that because you fell for this guy. You wanted to be with this guy. You feel like he offers you something that Ben doesn't. And you notice throughout all the documents, there's no hint of him cheating. She's the one that got the one cheated. You give this woman everything and she still cheats. Sad but true of our society.